Now I'd like to tie for you a bass popper. I'm going to make it with half inch cylinder foam. And I cut the foam at an angle so I could have my plow. And to, for the hole in there, I took my bodkin and started it in the front and pushed it all the way through. And then I took an awl and I started in the back and I pushed it through until the tip of the awl comes through the front because I don't want a big hole in the front I want a bigger hole in the back so I can get over the eye and we're going to start out this is a number two two ah bass bug hook it's a big big one and I'm going to start by putting thread on the shank and putting a layer of thread down and I'm going to put the thread halfway and I'm going to stop there and okay and for the tail I'm going to start with white bucktail and I'm going to use a sparse amount of bucktail for the bucktail we're not going to put them in a stacker we want them different lengths and we're going to tie it in to be maybe one and a quarter the length of the hook shank. And you want to tie all this down forward because this will give the glue more to adhere to when you put the body, the popper body on. Next, I'm going to take six ostrich hurl and I'm going to put six on each side. And that you want to be just about as long as the bucktail. And I'm going to take another six ostrich hurl and I'm going to place them on the far side. I love ostrich hurl for poppers and bass flies because these this swims so well. It, it has a life of its own when it gets in the water. I'm going to take some crystal flash And I'm going to take, I don't know, about a half a dozen pieces of crystal flash. And I'm going to tie them in right on top. And I'm going to fold over. You want them tight to be, you want the first bunch to be as long as the tail and then fold over the remainder and they should be shorter. And for the collar, I'm going to use a hen grizzly hackle and I'm going to tie that in by the tip. And now I'm going to take my super glue and I'm going to put a whole lot of super glue on the shank. And I'm going to take my popper head and twist it as I'm going. Oop, a little 
too far. You got to be careful because it, it will. There we go. Make sure you get it centered quickly, and it's froze on there already. I'm going to take my grizzly hackle and I'm going to wind the collar pulling the hackles back towards the rear as I go And when I reach the popper body, I'm going to tie that off right there. Put a few wraps in back of it. Make sure it's good and tight. Put a few wraps in front of it. And I'm going to take my poke and snip and cut off the hackle stem. And now I'm going to hold the hackles back and get a couple more wraps right there. And give it a whip finish. And I'm whip finishing and I'm running it along the foam body as I'm doing it. So that way I won't get any... Hackles caught in there. Now I'm going to put a little bit of super glue on my thread. And lock it in. And now to put the finishing touches on it, I'm going to put uh, holographic 3D eyes on there and I'm going to put a dot of super glue where I want the eye and I'm going to put it just right in the middle so I'm going to put the dot of super glue just above the hook shank right in the middle and these are pretty big eyes and I'm going to use my bodkin to help me align it and take the second one and put the super glue on the foam Super glue really holds the eyes well to the foam. And I'm going to put the second one on. And squeeze it in there. And I'm squeezing pretty hard. You can see. And here we have a bass popper. We've used a 2-aught bass, bass bug hook for the tail. We used white bucktail. And the purpose of the white bucktail is to have a stiff under tail. The white bucktail helps the ostrich hurl to, from wrapping around the hook. It won't be a hundred percent, but it will be. It will helps a lot. 
and then we put crystal flash about a half dozen pieces of crystal flash the length of the tail and then fold it over the remainder and tied them in and the collar is grizzly hackle hen grizzly hen hackle and the eyes are holographic 3d eyes on top of the half inch foam cylinder I hope that you learned something from the video I hope that you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions and most of all I thank you for watching this video